hope you're doing well today, Transfer to Dan here. And today's video is going to be something a little bit different. It is going to be an unboxing video, but there's nothing alive in this box. As you can see from the title, this is a first four figures Spyro exclusive edition unboxing. And I've been waiting for this box since July. I pre-ordered, uh, I paid for this um, item back in July 2017. So I've been waiting a year and a half for this. Uh, it's very expensive, very... Uh, sought after and it was sort of a first come first serve especially for this edition I believe and I do already have the uh, Crystal Dragon exclusive day one edition pre-ordered which I probably won't get that till the end of 2019 maybe into 2020 depending on how long it takes for them to get that finished so yeah I'm a huge Spyro fan uh, Spyro growing up was my main game that I played I absolutely loved it as a child of course the reignited trilogy i got that as soon as i uh, could i live streamed spyro one and completed that 120 percent on launch day uh did 120 percent live stream on spyro 2 and i'm currently working my way through spyro 3 so if you'd like to check out those videos please do uh you might enjoy them so yeah the reason you are or here if you don't know what this is this is a model uh, that is made, uh, designed, made, hand painted, everything by a company, and they're like really exclusive uh, as far as statues and collectibles go. These are amazing. One thing that has really irritated me, not to do with the company at all, but the delivery, this item is very expensive uh, several hundreds of pounds. Uh, and I can't remember how much it was now. I'll check. So I just checked, and this uh, £370. Uh, this cost so not cheap and actually uh, when I pre-ordered this last year I had the option of getting another Saladonia or this and I obviously ended up going with this and since then I've ended up getting another three Saladonia so if you're here for the Spyro videos and you don't know what, what I mean IT Saladonia is just a very rare spider and I had the choice between this statue or another Saladonia and I went with this um, so yeah huge fan of Spyro and yeah, I just can't wait. So let's just have a look at this, shall we? So the one thing that did annoy me is very, very expensive box. I've been waiting for this for a year and a half to come. Very exclusive, limited numbers kind of thing. Uh, my The whole, in the email, I had to sign for it with identification, sort of levels of making sure they got to the right person. Uh, no one was home, so the, the delivery guy left this um, at the side of my house. Uh, just in broad daylight so uh, thankfully it was got in for me but uh, yeah the fact that someone could have seen this and just walked away with it is very frustrating so I will contact the uh, delivery company and sort of say look you know you shouldn't have done that but with that aside yeah let's get into the actual unboxing so this is the bo box it says fragile keep this way up first four figures and uh, it's a Spyro exclusive or Spyro EX. Product number 876. So, big box. Of course, I'm not going to show you the top of it because that has my address on it and I don't really want that getting out there. This is what I use for making air holes in spider enclosures, but it's also very, very sharp. So, inside this box, there's actually another box. So we're now into box number two. So again, I'm gonna open this up. And this was actually a Christmas, a Christmas present to myself last year. Um, I kind of thought, you know, I sort of worked hard last year, I gave myself a treat. And this was my Christmas present to myself. But of course, I didn't realize that it was such a long wait. I thought it was buy it in your habit sort of thing so so in the box there's a piece of cardboard just on the top and then inside this box there's another box a box within a box in a box so take the plastic off and we'll have a look at the have a look at the actual box itself so 
On the front of the box is a picture of the actual statue. There's a picture of the backdrop with the gems which we'll have a look at. The product description on the back which reads as follows. Our Spyro comes in deluxe full colour packaging with moulded foam interiors and an authenticity card. Spyro the Dragon Statue Exclusive Edition comes with the following Spyro the Dragon Statue. Highly detailed base replicating the exact same fiery platform straight from the original Spyro game cover. Animated LEDs, five collectible gems with decorative box, colourful backdrop, a diorama to replicate the official artwork from the same game, and the authentication card. Limited to 1,300 pieces worldwide, and this is product number 876. So, yeah. Um, pretty, when you think about it worldwide, uh, very, very low numbers. So uh, let's let's open the actual box and take a look at the statue. I'm so excited for this. Uh, this will be downstairs in my uh, in my animal room on the shelves. So so uh, there's a picture here of the fertile figure, and it shows you some of the other kind of statues uh, that they do. I will get close with this um, in just a little while. Uh, but there's of course uh, Spyro. Some Dark Souls characters, Crash Bandicoot, Shovel Knight, Castlevania, Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid. So, some awesome statues there, some really great uh, sort of uh, franchises. I saw today they've done um, the Samus uh, suit, which looks fantastic as well. The Quality uh, Pass sticker, because they are all quality checked uh, quite rig rigorously as well. So, inside this, box there's a poly box okay I think this is the background which we'll take a look at in just a second this is the authenticity card that came with it so it says a uh, spirit rex and then the uh other code on it's probably the dragon statue and uh yeah so this is so you know that it is a genuine First four figures statue. I apologize about the light, by the way. My studio lights are dying, so I do apologize about that. So, but yeah, authenticity card, which is fantastic. So, firstly, this is a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. Wow, this feels awesome. So this is the Spyro the Dragon statue. The lighting's gone really bad, I do apologise everyone. So this is the Spyro statue. Which looks uh, fantastic, obviously it's not all there. We have the base here. It needs one AA battery. Which is, thankfully I've got a pack of them. My, in my my man drawer. Okay, it's a larger battery. I don't have one of those. So we'll plug this in in just a second and take a look at this. That's better. Sorted the light out. So yeah, so this is the the base, which I will show you in just a minute. It does uh, light up as well, and it's uh, it's really heavy. It feels probably I don't know a couple of house bricks. Is probably the best way to describe the weight of that. Let's have a, a close up look at Spyro. It looks really, really cool. You can see that the uh, amount of detail that they put on, on him is just absolutely fantastic. Obviously, checking him over for any damage, but there is there's nothing. He looks great, absolutely great. Let's see what else is in there. So there's also this little treasure box, which if you play the games, you know, you break these open to get the gems from inside. And this is uh, made from cardboard, but it's magnetic. And inside, which is, I love this, there are five, five gems. Uh, there's a red one, which is, uh, that's, uh, one gem, of course, the greens are two gems, uh, 
blue ones, which look real nice, are five. The yellow gems or gold gems are ten. And then the purple gem, although, is that purple? Yes, it is. It is purple. It looks kind of red, but it is purple, of course, is the 25 gem. So really, really nice, um, really, really nice gems in the display box, which, like I said, is, is magnetic. So that's really, really, really nice uh, little touch. Oh, there is actually a battery. I didn't see that. Okay, the battery is flat. Oh no, it's not. There you go. I thought it was flat, but I obviously just didn't put it in right. So there you go, you can see it with it on. And it actually flickers as if, you know, like, like a candle would almost. So that's really, really nice. Absolutely fantastic. Much heavier than I thought. Then, in here, we have uh, this is a mini HDMI cable which is for charging uh, or plugging it into the mains if you're going to do that. It's really good that they've included that. And actually, it's a really nice, um, I don't know how to describe it, but it's. Uh, it looks like it's a good quality cable, not a cheap one. And then here, there are of course the two wings of Spyro. The left wing and the right one, as you can see. So we're going to place these into Spyro now. God, I, always, I, I keep forgetting how heavy this is. It's a lot heavier than, than I thought. Uh, just to show you, um, the base of the wing is like a metal square peg. And there's the two square holes in the back of Spyro's back. If you can just see that one there. And so, um, it just slides right on in. There we go. It's all in place now. Almost. And then again, on the front left claw of Spyro, there is a metal peg, and that just sticks into the base of this. There we go. I'm going to say the detail on this is absolutely amazing. I'll probably get some close-ups with my phone for my Instagram. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Tarantula Dan if you'd like to see that. But what I want to see now is this all set up and also with the gems and things. So give me just one minute, please. So here it is. This is the uh, statue, of course, the chest and the five gems, which, like I said, they are really... Really, really uh, convincing. They actually look like the gems from the game. So yeah, first of figures have done an absolutely fantastic job at doing this. And you can see from the footage on screen now that the detail is absolutely amazing. So a huge thank you to first of figures for allowing me to spend my hard earned money on this statue. And uh, thank you for doing it. As soon as I saw this statue, that's when I started to get hyped for the HD remake of Spy of the Dragon. And I'm really happy with it. So a huge thank you to Toys for Bob for the remake because they've done absolutely fantastic. They really have. So the only thing to do now is have a look at it in the dark. I turn off the studio light. You can see my room is absolutely pitch black. If I light the base up as well. 
so hopefully you can see how the base kind of flickers as if it's actually a lit flame so there it is that's the Spyro exclusive edition and I am really really happy with it I've been waiting for this for like I say the best part of a year and a half since I paid for it so I'm glad it's sort of finally here now and uh, I have it I will definitely be looking at making a order with them in the future and like I said maybe in the next year year and a half or so I'll have the Crystal Dragon Day 1 exclusive edition coming as well so it's pretty awesome if you want to subscribe to my channel please do hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you don't miss my future videos I do have a patreon if you would like to support me and you are able to do so and I also have a PayPal which you can donate to as well as well as other social media pages snapchat Facebook and Instagram and with that said everyone I hope you all have a lovely day thank you for watching take care and I'll see you all soon in the next video goodbye from me everyone